Hey guys, welcome back to another ride. In today's ride, we're testing 13.2.7. So we've got a bit of a snowstorm happening right now. So that's gonna be like an added difficulty. We're gonna take a ride to ShopRite here as we always do our first run to ShopRite as a test. All right, hit our button. Oh, this is definitely new in this version. So the windshield wipers kicked on right away and cleared off the windshield. Usually it would wait for me to, oh, we got a car coming from the left. Thank you. Usually it would wait for me to clear off, to turn on the wipers to clear off the windshield before it starts moving. But we're doing it now and the windshield is pretty dirty. It does say full self-driving may be degraded. Should be making a left here. We got oncoming traffic. There's a little bit of slippage on the wheels here. It is accelerating a little bit quick down the hill. Should be slowing down a little bit. There's a speed bump coming up. Let's see if it sees it. It does. Nice slowdown for the speed bump. Excellent, a little bit faster than the previous version, 13.2.2. That would take the speed bumps at around six miles an hour. This one was about eight. And as you can see, the visibility from the windshield is not very good but FSD is handling that turn really well. We're gonna be coming up to another speed bump here. These speed bumps are not really displayed on the visualization, but it still does a really good job slowing down for them. Oh, there it is. It's coming up a little bit there for a moment. Here we go. Oh, nice, even slower. This is a very smooth transition for the speed bump. That was really good but it doesn't do a good job accelerating afterwards because it's doing nine for some reason. I don't know if it just can't see, and if it can't see, it should just do the the windshield wipers. I'm just gonna let it do its own windshield wipers while we are crawling here. Why is it going so slow? My gosh. There we go. I did the windshield wipers on its own. I'm not pushing the accelerator. I don't know why it's crawling here, the speed limit. It's 15, this actually in 15 in this complex, but it should be 25 here. So I'm not sure why it's going so slow. Wow, yeah, there we go. Okay, it's starting to pick up now. We are kind of driving in the middle of the road here. I'm not sure why FSD is choosing to do that. I do see some tracks. We do have a car coming up the hill here. It is shifting over a little bit to the right. And then it's going right back into the middle of the road. As you can see the front left tire is almost driving in the tracks of the Jeep on the left hand side. All right, we're coming up to a stop sign here. I'm intentionally not cleaning off the windshield so you guys have an idea of how well FSD is working in these conditions. So if you can't see anything, that is intentional. Nice right turn here. It still doesn't have the right speed limit. The speed limit on this road is 35 and uh, that has not been fixed on the map. I gotta remove this stop here. There we go. We should be going straight to the store now. Yeah, it still shows speed limit 15, but we are doing 20. So it is a little bit better, but it's still not 35 that it's supposed to be on this road. And I'm kinda gonna let it struggle through it. There's nobody behind me. If somebody pulls up behind me, I will press the accelerator. But at this point, I'm not going to do that and see if it doesn't look like it's going past 20. So I suspect that it's probably because of my max speed. Um, if you want to display max speed, all you have to do is tap on the on the speedometer and it will display the max speed here. That's something new I learned recently. We switched to 35 miles an hour because there's a sign right there. And good speed over the railroad tracks. The previous version would go around 18, 19 miles an hour. This was about 26, 27. Felt good. All right, high chance of fog. And I gotta turn on, I had the uh, air turned off so it doesn't disturb us, but we'll go ahead and turn that on. And uh, I should uh, try to do a better job cleaning up the windshield so it doesn't fog up. Because we do get this new message, high chance of fogging, set the climate to auto to ensure visibility. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah, it does seem like it's uh, defogging quite well at this point. 
Uh, I also do want to let you know that I scheduled an uh, appointment to get the cameras, the windshield in front of the cameras up here cleaned up. Uh, there's been several times where it popped up with the message that the windshield's just too foggy and dirty, so it needs to be cleaned. And that uh, turns out that the first one is complimentary. And then after that, you have to pay for them. I, I will ask the tech what it costs to get those cleaned, but uh, they do have a mobile technician coming out to do this for me. And I intentionally asked for a mobile technician. That was really good. They handled that traffic light really well and then moved over into this lane preparing for the left-hand turn that we have to take. And I'm very impressed at how well it's doing with the windshield in the condition that it is. And I'm intentionally, like I can still see really well, so I'm intentionally not cleaning up the windshield to see how well it does in these conditions. And uh, the roads have been salted and brined, so it's just like slushy, light slushy snow here. But it's handling really well. I'm not feeling any slippage or anything. We're doing 53 and a 55. Uh, as you can tell, we're kind of keeping up with this car to the right of us, maybe going a little bit faster. We should be slowing down a little bit since we're going to be coming in for this turn on the left. There we go. Slows down nice and early. Pulling into this off ramp. Very comfortable. It actually feels even smoother than 13.2.2. I'm not sure if the other folks are having the same experience, but the slowdowns and the acceleration and switching lanes, it feels even more comfortable in this version on 13.2.7. So we're slowing down here a little bit uh, because of the vehicle in front of us. But other than that, it's handling everything really well. Yeah, so I, as I was saying, uh, I, I intentionally got the mobile tech to come out and do the cameras. So this way uh, I can ask questions and I can figure out how to do it myself. Oh, whoa, this guy's fishtailing all over the place. And uh, the point is that uh, if they're only doing one complimentary cleaning, like the uh, gentleman told me when I messaged them about getting this camera uh, windshield cleaned up then I want to be able to do it myself and uh, it'd be good to have the mobile tech there so I can ask my questions and they can explain to me like the tricks and ins and outs of how to do it myself nice right turn here we're pulling into the shop right parking lot I'm very curious to see if it's gonna park itself here it's done it before but we'll find out and uh, I am planning on making a video about the cleaning of the camera. I know there's a couple of videos out there already. So uh, I will see. Um, and it'd be interesting to see if they've redesigned that section to make it easier to, oh, I'm making a quick left here. Normally we go to the front door. So it looks like it is gonna look for parking. There's a car attempting to pull out here. It is finding a parking spot. Let's see if it lands in the middle of the parking spot. There's a pedestrian to the left of us with the cart. So it's trying to pull into the spot. And there is a, wow, okay. It parked itself. Awesome. That's really cool. All right, so we are gonna head home here. And let's see how it handles that. So it just puts us right in reverse, cleans up the windshield. We do have a pedestrian on the left, so this gentleman's cleaning up the courts. I do not envy this man who has to do this. This red bar here shows you if there's any kind of obstructions to the left, so there's somebody from the left. Let's see here, we're gonna actually, normally we pull out and we go left here, but we're pulling out to go right and uh, we're gonna drive by the front. Excellent. I didn't feel like it had enough space around these cars, so it backed up a little bit more. All right, nice. We're gonna have to navigate this plow situation. So I do have a plow driving right at me here. We're gonna go over to the left and hopefully miss the plow. Yep, excellent. Thank you very much. That was an awesome execution by FSD. So that plow was driving on the completely wrong side of the road. It was going directly at us. 
and it handled it like a champ. It just went a little bit to the left. The plow did have to slow down a little bit because we weren't getting out of the way fast enough. But I would imagine that most humans would be pausing for that as well. So that was really exciting. We do have a right turn here at the stop sign. Usually when it goes out from the parking lot from the other side, I can test the lines here. I'll have to come back and do that because a lot of times in this particular section, FSD will drive on the wrong side of the road for a moment till it realizes that it's on the opposite side and then it moves over. But uh, I, I won't get a chance to test that today anyway because it's kind of snow covered. So um, it would be no lines visible anyway. There's nobody coming from the left. We do have our own lane here. So it does pop into its own lane and then quickly shifts over. Very well executed. I'm very impressed. These lane changes are so smooth. It's unbelievable. And as you can see, I have not touched the windshield wipers or anything. Looks like the wind is cleaning up most of the melted snow off the windshield as we're driving doing 51 and the 55 which is really good speed here we're gonna be coming up here i would have been slowing down already here we go wow this thing is doing really well so we're slowing down here got a lot of people with their blinkers on but they can't be turning left here because it's one way all right excellent so we, we are getting the message that full driving is full self-driving may be degraded but FSD is definitely holding its own in this weather. And uh, it's keeping pretty good distance for the car in front of us, uh, but I would pull away a little bit further back as we accelerate and that's exactly what it's doing. It's fantastic. So as we started to accelerate and going from 40 to 50 miles an hour, it actually gave the car in front of us a lot more space. So gives it a bigger buffer so it has more time to slow down in case of an emergency. It's pretty amazing. Uh, personally, I would be cleaning the windshield a lot more often than it's doing, but if it can't see, that's, that's awesome. Uh, I wish there was a way to kind of see what the camera sees while we're driving, but we don't have a good way to show the front camera as far as I know. If you know a way to show the front camera, just let me know in the comments below. And it is taking my preferred left lane here. Usually I have to take over because it always goes to the right, but I prefer this left lane because the right lane ends once we make this left turn as if you guys watch my videos, you already know that because we've done this ride many times before. But this is a nice quick ride that we can take to kind of check out the progress and see how well it's doing. Today's ride was excellent. It parked itself. I was able to just put in the home address and it just heading back home. No problem. It's freaking amazing. It's kind of using the tracks like on the map here. There's a lane here and it's kind of using the tracks to mark the turning lane. So there's some snow on the ground with tracks and it looks like it's trying to draw that line based on those tracks. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like trying to draw the lanes right in real time. Yeah, it's driving in the middle of the two lanes right now, but it is correcting itself, pulling over to the left. Excellent. Yeah, that's kind of hard because uh, visually, I could I, I know there are two lanes because I've driven this many times, but visually, I also can see the two lanes and separated by the dotted lines, and so did the visualization, but yet the car still drove in the middle of the two lanes. Luckily, there was nobody to the right of us, so we didn't have to worry about that. But it's doing a really good job. And it's actually staying within the lane here, within, uh, no, it's, a little, it's, just, it's like shifting to the right now. So most drivers, when they're driving in these conditions, they would be staying within the uh, existing like wheel paths here but FSD is just doing its own thing, trying to stay in the middle of the lane. So uh, this left turn, I, I'm trying to not to take this road anymore because it's just so bumpy. It's really terrible. I'm gonna let it go this time, but um, I've been disengaging here and uh, having the car go straight on all my other drives to see if I can teach it not to take this road. 
I did feel a little bit of slippage there in the rear here, but it did correct itself. And it uh, should be slowing down here a little bit more. There's railroad tracks coming up here. It's, it is slowing down a little bit. Oh, okay. There's a little bit more slippage in the rear here as we're making this uh, slight turn. But it is catching itself. So it is sliding around just a little bit here. And I really apologize for the visual, but I'm just trying to give you a realistic idea. You probably can't see outside the uh, windshield very well, but I'm just trying to show you how well it's doing, even with the visuals that we have now. All right, excellent. And we are here. Just gonna put one here so we can chat about this drive. <laughs> there you have it, guys. This was uh, one of the best rides we've had so far. Even in these terrible conditions, we got snow, we got melting snow on the windshield. The windshield is not being cleaned up as I would want it to with the windshield wipers, but yet the system still performs really well. So it's kind of amazing how well it can do even with this many obstructions on the windshield. The car did an amazing job. And uh, if you guys have any questions or you have any comments, leave them below. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified when the next video comes out. Take care of yourself, your family, and have a great day.